this is gonna look good. So yeah, I think it will look good. Now I've got to get all the screws in it. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, and I've got my, uh, we'll go through three. And then half of two a quarter is one and an eighth. What are you doing right now? All right, so I'm gonna put my my first my first. You gotta sharpen the old soapstone up. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm gonna put one screw here. I just cut the the metal part square, kind of split the difference a little bit. That's one reason we painted the door black. Uh, so now I'm gonna go through here and put my first screw in. And then that way, once I get everything set, I can just go at intervals and you know make everything look, make all the screws the same interval. So. So I do think I'm gonna do a little trimming here. Oh, I don't no, know. no, I think it'll fit. Well, what I am gonna have to do uh, all right, so we gotta go grab our hinges and then I'll put some shims underneath uh, of it. We'll put the hinges back on, but all in all, I think that, uh, that's a pretty big difference. That looks really from good. From what it was. Oh, dude, I just noticed your light on there, too. There we go. All that, but, no, I'm kind of, kind of happy. Plus, I've got to work on the, um, I think I'm going to use the same handles because one I built a long time ago. Uh, but I think I'll tinker with it, make it look prettier. I gotta go get some black paint. We gotta paint. Um, we've gotta paint the uh, screws, maybe. Right. So the cats climb the screen. So maybe that will. They'll still climb this, but maybe that will keep them from tearing up the screen. And then with uh, the metal reinforced there, maybe it will 
maybe uh, help keep Mimi from <laughs> trying to come through the door too bad. All right, everybody, so I've decided to go with the original, well, the door handles I made several years back, um, just because I made them and it works good. And there's two pieces of steel I had, but I did take the bolts, you see the old bolts I know are off of a old plow that was torn apart. And so it just goes in like this and, and locks so you can open it from the inside or the outside. But to keep with, uh, you know, the door looks a lot better now than it did. So I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna clean up some edges um, and just make it look a little nicer. And then we're gonna put it back on, uh, paint it and get it back on our door. So I got them cleaned up. You know, they're not 100% perfect here, uh -huh. but I think it looks a little bit better and will fit in with the, uh, with my theme for using what you got instead of.
well there it is I think that uh, I think that looks a whole lot better um, everything painted up and the reason I painted all those screws is because I had paint and I had silver screws or, or silver screws so instead of buying black screws I just decided I'd take a couple seconds to paint them and I think it turned out pretty good a little bit better than I thought it would So now we can start getting the rest of the porch cleaned up and get the chinking finished. And uh, yeah, a bunch of the other 500 things, million things I had to do around here. Come here, Mimi. See it? Mimi, see it? Good girl. All right, everybody. So. Like I promised, uh, get it right here where you can see it. This is the Mimi. Now, Mimi is one of the COVID puppies we had when we adopted the little dog and uh, she ended up being pregnant and uh, because, you know, everything closed down during COVID, um, we couldn't get her mom fixed. And so we ended up with a litter of puppies. Now, Mimi, we found a home for her and we thought it was going to be a good home, but however, Mimi, uh, we always tell anyone that, you know, that, that got any of the puppies, same with our kittens, if you can't keep, keep them, bring them back to us, because we want them back. Well, luckily they called us and said, oh, you know, we, don't, we can't take care of her. She's too crazy, she's too nuts. Um, also, you can see Mimi still, <laughs> she's, she's a thin-built dog, but when we got her back, I was pretty upset because you could see all her ribs. You could see like you could see her spine. Um, she was real timid and scared. And um, so, you know, instead of finding her another home and putting her through another <clears throat> another, it was about seven months um, before we got her back. No, that wasn't that long. Was it? It was about maybe five or six months. But instead of putting her through another home change um we you know decided to keep her here with all our other rescue mutts we have running around so you can see she is like people are like oh no way did she mess up your screen door well this is me she is a love bug if i stop petting her if i stop petting her she's going to make me pet her because that's what she lives for mimi Mimi, see it? Good girl. So, smart as a whip, but for some reason when we got her back, she has this incredible fascination for kitty cats. Uh, that's where all the damage on that screen door came from. She broke some glass, uh, ate some of the chicken wire, and most dogs won't have the attention span, but she sets and looks at the windows and watches the cats if they're on the front porch. She will watch them for hours. Uh, I mean, just most dogs will get tired and of it. No, not her. So we thought, oh, she's looking for some food. She is still a, a, a chow hound and she likes her food, but this girl here, it's about the sweetest thing you've ever met. All she wants is some love and let her eat a little bit and give her give her some friends to play with, not cats, the other dogs. And she couldn't be happier and uh, has a very sad looking face, but she's a happy puppy. Mimi, see it? See it? Mimi, see it? And we're gonna be working with her some more because I think she'd be doing good at some um, therapy dog stuff. She loves treats and she's so gentle. That's kind of what I want to do with her. This helped Mimi be a little bit of a therapy dog, huh? Huh, Mimi? Yeah, would you like to be a therapy dog? Say, Dad, I want to be a dog that eats. I just want to be a dog that eats. That's all I want. I want to eat. All right, guys. Well, now you got to meet Mimi and I know it's hard to believe that this is the cause of all the death and destruction on the front door. Um, but it is, 
and I'm not gonna torment her or the kitty cats by <laughs> letting you guys see how crazy she can be. Uh, but I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you wanna see more videos like this. And say bye to Mimi. Mimi, can you paw? Paw, Mimi, paw? Nope, Dad, we're still working on that one. Huh? Good girl, good girl.